Hello everyone. So let me explain you about uh, the conversion of deoxyiridine monophosphate into deoxythymidine monophosphate. This is one of the important concept that you really need to know about because this will be the high yield area for examiners where exam questions can come up because there are certain enzymes here and there are certain drugs which are inhibiting this particular process. So let's begin with this. deoxyuridine monophosphate deoxyuridine monophosphate so it will be converted into deoxythymidine monophosphate and for this you need a coenzyme and the name of the coenzyme is n5 n10 methylene tetrahydrofolate this is the coenzyme N5, N10, methylene tetrahydrofolate, which will get into the reaction and it will be converted into, it means it will be released as dihydrofolate. Okay, so this job it will be done by an enzyme called thymidylate synthase. So thymidylate synthase, it is going to convert deoxyuridine monophosphate into deoxythymidine monophosphate with the help of N5, N10 methylene tetrahydrofolate which is converted into dihydrofolate catalyzed by an enzyme called thymidylate synthase. Okay? Now the thing is the molecule that is released here is dihydrofolate. Now this dihydrofolate has to be converted back into tetrahydrofolate and that tetrahydrofolate furthermore it has to be converted into N5, N10 methylene tetrahydrofolate thereby furthermore DUMP can be converted into DTMP and once you get DTMP here this DTMP can go into DTDP and DTDP can be converted into DTTP and that is deoxid thymidine triphosphate and DTTP can be used in DNA synthesis. Okay. Now, how the DTA, DHF, dihydrofolate reductase, how it is converted into tetrahydrofolate, sorry, dihydrofolate molecule, how it will be converted into tetrahydrofolate. This job, it will be done by an enzyme called dihydrofolate reductase enzyme and that is dihydrofolate reductase, DHFR. So, let me write the name of the enzyme itself here, dihydro folate reductase. This is the enzyme which is going to convert dihydrofolate into tetrahydrofolate and once you get tetrahydrofolate here and that tetrahydrofolate can be converted into N5, N10 methylene tetrahydrofolate. So you maintain the concentration of N5, N10 methylene tetrahydrofolate thereby you convert more and more DUMP into TMP by thymidylate synthase. Now, what is the applied aspect here? So the applied aspect are the important concept in this particular reaction that you really need to remember for exam purpose is you got to remember what is the enzyme that is converting DUMP into DTMP and that is thymidylate synthase. Second thing is which is the coenzyme that is needed to do this conversion and that is N5, N10 methylene tetrahydrofolate. You, you got to remember it is methylene tetrahydrofolate because we have different types of tetrahydrofolate derivatives. So it is specifically N5, N10 methylene tetrahydrofolate. In fact, in our body, this is the only reaction which uses N5, N10 methylene tetrahydrofolate as a coenzyme. And also, uh, this is the only reaction where tetrahydrofolate is released as coming out of the reaction as dihydrofolate whereas in all the other reactions wherever tetrahydrofolate derivatives are getting into the reaction they will release tetrahydrofolate taking only the methyl group there. So whereas here it is also taken two protons present in tetrahydrofolate and released as dihydrofolate this is something which is special which is special for this reaction in our body. Okay. Now this dihydrofolate is converted to tetrahydrofolate done by dihydrofolate reductase enzyme and that is important. Okay? Now this is the third important point. First is thymidylate synthase. Second is coenzyme N5N10 methylene tetrahydrofolate. Third important point is 
how DHF is converted to THF? Done by dihydrofolate reductase enzyme. Now let's come to the drugs which will inhibit this enzyme. So we have methotrexate. So this methotrexate, it's an anti-cancer drug. Okay. So methotrexate is going to inhibit dihydrofolate reductase enzyme. By inhibiting dihydrofolate reductase enzyme, so what methotrexate does, it is, going, it is not allowing conversion of dihydrofolate into tetrahydrofolate. So that means when you don't have sufficient tetrahydrofolate, you don't make much of N5, N10 methylene tetrahydrofolate. So there will be shortage of N5, N10 methylene tetrahydrofolate. That means this particular enzyme, thymidylate synthase, it will decrease its activity. Why? Because necessary coenzyme is not available sufficiently. That's why conversion of DUMP into T DTMP decreases. When that happens, you don't get more of DTTP. That means your DNA synthesis will be affected. So overall, up, uh, decreasing replication of tumor cells. That's why the tumor cell size decreases. Okay, and that's the mechanism of methotrexate. So how this will be asked in the exam? So methotrexate directly it is inhibiting dihydrofolate reductase enzyme. Thereby, it is con decreasing the concentration of N5, N10 methylene tetrahydrofolate and indirectly it is affecting activity of thymidylate synthase. So, methotrexate has got, it can be asked in three ways. One is, which is the enzyme which is directly inhibited and that is dihydrofolate reductase. Which coenzyme is decreased? That is N5, N10 methylene tetrahydrofolate. Which reaction is affected? Conversion of DUMP into TMP. What is the enzyme that is indirectly affected? because of methotrexate and that is thymidylate synthase. So, it, methotrexate question specially related with biochemistry, it can, you can expect four questions there. One is direct enzyme being inhibited. Second is coenzyme that is decreased. Third is which reaction that is affected. Fourth is which is the enzyme indirectly inhibited by methotrexate. Okay, now let's move on to see another drug that is 5-fluorouracil. And that is 5-FU, 5-fluoroeracil. This 5-fluoroeracil, it is directly inhibiting thymidylate synthase enzyme. So, when you inhibit directly thymidylate synthase, DUMP conversion into DTMP is affected. That means DNA synthesis will be decreased. Okay. So, these are the two drugs and important enzymes with this particular reaction in the uh, synthesis of pyrimidine nucleotides. So, because DUMP and DTMP, these are basically pyramidins. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.